Hello, my name is Kay. Welcome back to Bluma's YouTube channel. Thrilled you made it over here today. We're gonna rock a 15 minute booty burn. Ow! So when you're ready, let's come, we're gonna come onto the ground to start, okay? Um, let's just take a moment to be in tabletop. So get yourself connected there, spread through your fingers. This three or four rounds of cat and cow, if you're familiar with that, do anything that would feel good. If it's a newer movement for you, just articulate that spine, let your heart lift, and then a big rounded cat stretch. Maybe two or three more of those, just to find a connection to your breath, moving into your body. All right, as you come back to neutral, I really want you to pull that belly in towards your spine, so feel that kind of more lengthen through your low back so that we're not feeling too much pressure in that area. From your outside leg, you're gonna start with just a lift and lower right here. So notice you're not swinging that knee in towards your chest. You're letting that knee come right to meet your bottom knee, okay? As you do this, let's flex that foot. It's gonna add just a little bit more activity through that glute, helping you to stay, keep it nice and engaged, okay? Spreading through your fingers, making sure that you are pressing as evenly into one hand as the other. So tendency might be to lean to more of that stabilizing side. So stay really connected through the center here. Just continue to lift and lower, being, being mindful that you're not overarching that low back. Let's take eight more right here. Just a little engagement to say hello to that first side. Four. Three, we're gonna keep that leg lifted in two. On your one, you're gonna keep that leg lifted, okay? Now I want you to imagine there's a ball behind that knee so that you can kind of feel like you're squeezing something that's gonna to help to keep that leg right in place. You're just squeezing that top glute, lifting it up towards your ceiling, okay? Finding a gaze so you're not gazing down, be mindful on that neck. Gazing slightly out in front of you, Breathe right here. Let's take eight more little tiny pulses. Seven, six, let's go five more. Keep squeezing, squeezing. Four, three, two, and one. Back to that leg lift up and down right here. We've just got eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm gonna start to turn my body because they're gonna move that leg in a different direction. Two more on that last one. You're gonna take that knee and you're gonna lift it out towards your side. Sometimes we coin this hydrant pose, okay, for obvious reasons. I want you to imagine that there's a magnet between your inner thighs, so each time you lift and you're squeezing it back together, okay? If your shoulders are starting to notice that I'm feeling a lot of pressure, I like to sometimes lower to my opposite elbow as the leg that's being lifted, okay? That makes sense for you. You're lifting, you're lowering, you're lifting, you're lowering. Eight more right here. Seven, I hope you're feeling a little activity in that lifted leg. Four, please. Three, I'm gonna face you again, two. So you can see this angle, I want you to hold it up right here. Lift, 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 okay? So again, we're not like straining our neck, we're trying not to dump into our cervical spine. So keep that <clears throat> kind of neutral position through your whole spine, little pulses right here. You got your eight, seven, six more. That knee comes in, it lifts back out. That first move again in three, in two, and one. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Whoo, right there. All right, to finish this side, you've got your eight, seven, six more, five, four, three, Two, now on your one, prop back up to the palms of your hands. You're gonna lift, bring that knee in towards your opposite knee, your grounded leg, and you're gonna give it a little roundhouse kick out. So you're gonna kick it out, you're gonna pull it in. You're gonna kick it out, you're gonna pull it in. From your different angle, kick the high ya is an option. In terms of your foot, you do what makes sense for you. Let's rock this for eight. Seven, ooh, booty burn, six, five more. Four, three, we gotta hold that leg out, two, because you can get that last one in, hold, hold, hold. Now I'd like you to flex those, foot, those toes back towards you. It's only eight pulses or just a hold, seven, you can do this, six, five. We find a runner's lunge in four, in three, in two, and one. Send that foot nice and wide, okay? It might feel good to roll to the pinky edge of your foot. Be mindful of that knee. Take a moment to stretch out the back of that leg. A little shift forward, a little shift back. 
All right. In between sides, let's take a moment to just rock plank position, okay? Holding breathing, just to find neutral here, okay? Option one, stay here, lower to those knees. Otherwise, we're gonna rotate side to side. So reach one arm up, come back through your center, okay? This is just to remind, or to let us forget about our booty just for a second. So you can transition from knee to knee, from toe to toe, however you wanna move and groove this, all right? Four, three, two, as you take up that last one, lower back down to your hands and knees, all right? Second side, straight away. Lifting and lowering, okay? So take a moment, check in with your alignment, check in with your form, softness in those elbows. Where's your gaze? Let's flex that top foot. Notice you're not bringing it further in front of that grounded knee. Boom, right there. Lift it up. Lift it up. Yes, you are amazing. Eight like this. Seven, please. Six more. Five, you can. Four, three, two. As you take that last one, finish strong, and then bring that leg up. Okay, readjust. Hips are still squared. Little tiny pulses. Up, 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 right there. Ah, find that steadiness. Squeezing that top glute. Again, imagine there's that ball behind your knee, keeping that quad or keeping that glute <clears throat> as well as your hamstring really activated. Eight, seven, six, five more. Four, three, two, and one. Lower and lift. Quick set of eight right here. Seven, six, five more. Four, three, two, on that last one, bring it in. You're gonna go ahead and lift and lower, okay? Lift and lower. I like to drop down to that opposite elbow, but again, check in with what feels right for you. Sometimes if you drop down to that elbow, you might have tendency to lean into that low back too much. So find your proper alignment so you can stay committed to the next eight right here. Seven, six please, five, four. That leg stays lifted strong in three, in two, and one. Hold it right there. Add in that little pulse as you are ready. Breathe steady, flex that foot. Eight more, seven, six. We're gonna move right into that roundhouse kick in three. In two, bring it in first on your one, bring it in. Hiya, kick it out, bring it in and out, right there. Now if you wanna tap it, okay, finding what works for you and this side, trying to do the same variation between both sides. Whoo, that leg on fire. Eight more. Seven, six please, five, you've got this. Four, three more. Two, get your last one in, all right? Find that hold, flex your toes, lift it up, breathe, add that pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Find your runner's lunge. Once again, just let yourself experience that release. Shift forward, shift back, move and groove accordingly. Ah, yes. All right, beautiful. From there, you're gonna go ahead, curl your toes under, lift your hips nice and high towards the ceiling. Please use this as an opportunity to pedal out those feet, turn your head from side to side, okay? From here, you're gonna extend one leg up towards your ceiling, find that three-legged dog, step it on through, low lunge. Stay low right here, you're gonna tap it in and out, tap it in, tap it out, okay? Now, if you wanna hold on to something, you're welcome to do that. If you want to come upright, you're welcome to do that. If you wanna pump those arms, you're welcome to do that. See if you can float your standing toes so the weight is really driving into that heel. Eight, seven, Six more, five, four, you've got this, three, two, on your one, pop that back heel, bring it in nice and close. So you got grounded in that leg that was staying stable, pop your front heel or your opposite heel, hands at heart center, keep on pulsing, it's only eight, seven, 
six. This knee is gonna drive into your chest in four, in three, two, and one, okay? If you wish, take your opposite elbow across your body. Boom. All the while, staying nice and grounded in that leg. All right. For these last eight, maybe add a front kick. Six, or stay right here, or tap right here. You've got four, you've got three, two, on your one right here, hold, or hold right here. Little crouch, you can add your hands coming right here. Wherever you are, you have your eight, seven, six, five, you can, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and just big arm swings right here as you tap that out. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find our way to our forward fold. In three, catch your breath. Two, and one. Take a nice big inhale, extend those arms high. Soften through those knees, exhale, dive and fold. Lengthen as you inhale. Make your way to your downward facing dog. Take three big breaths right there. Pedal, turn your head. Do those things, ha. Opposite leg extended high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it on through, find your low lunge, all right? You're gonna stay low, tap it in and out. Again, what felt right, what felt stabilizing for you as you find your foot tapping out and your foot tapping in, right here. All about that standing glute, all right? If you want to, you might pick this on up. We only have 10 seconds right here. Stay low, stay low. It's five, four, three, two, on your one, okay? Find that heel popping. You're getting low. You're breathing here. Okay, sit way back in that seat. You can always come on up. Four more. That knee drives into your chest, maybe opposite elbow, reaches across your body. Three, two, and one right here, okay? Boom, find that twist. Whew. Nice work. All right, if you're feeling it for our last eight, add a little hi -yah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. As you take that last one right there, pulse that heel, okay? Or float that leg. Eight more. You can always have your hands somewhere else. Five, four, three, two, and one, right here. Okay, you're gonna skate it out, high or low. If you can, land into that leg, float your opposite, okay? Right here, just for eight. Seven, six, we're coming back down to the ground. Four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Big inhales and exhales right here. All right, we're gonna finish with some bridge poses, getting that booty one last time, yeah? Big inhale, arms lift high. Exhale, dive and fold. Big breath in, lengthen. Exhale, meet me in your final plank position. Hold right here, or take Joe's knees and drive them in towards your chest. Knee drives. Maybe a little faster, it's only eight. Seven, coming to those knees is a great option for Three, two, and one. Lower to those knees if you haven't already. Meet me on your back, okay? You're gonna slide those heels in close towards your glutes and then walk them all the way out wide. Heels spin in, toes spin out slightly. Palms alongside by those feet. Lift your hips just a little bit. And we're just gonna take a little squeeze and a squeeze and a squeeze and a squeeze. All right, we're not here long. You can always take your hands up towards the ceiling, palms together. You can pin your elbows in like little robot arms or let them graze those feet. Squeeze, 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 squeeze right there. Just for eight, seven, six, Five. We're gonna walk those toes and heels all the way together to touch in four. In three, keep squeezing two on your one. Walk your toes and heels all the way together to touch, okay? From here, soles of the feet are grounded. You're gonna open those knees, close them up. Open, squeeze them back together, okay? We are almost there. You're gonna open those knees wide. Squeeze them together so the soles of your feet are staying connected to the floor beneath you, okay? You're not coming to the pinky edges of your feet. 
Open, close, open, close. Eight, seven, six, all parts of that booty. Four, you're gonna hold it open. Three, two, hold it open right here. Pulse, 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 pulse. Open, 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 open. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, squeeze together. Three, two, one, squeeze. Three, two, one, squeeze it. Three, two, one, feel those hamstrings. Three, two, one, four more like this. Three, two, one, squeeze. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, last time. Three, two, one, squeeze. Eight singles, eight, seven, six, uh, five, four. You're gonna keep those knees wide. Two, here it is. You're gonna lift that seat. You're gonna squeeze your buns. You're gonna float your heels if you want to for the last 20 second push right here. Squeeze it on out. Yes, you can. Soften through those jaws. Breath is steady, last 10 seconds. Breathe, squeezing, lifting, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You got your last four, three, two, and one. Woo! Extend those legs up towards your ceiling, roll out your ankles. Beautiful work, team. All right, I'd love for you to just take some time to stretch out those legs, maybe extending one leg at a time, getting those hamstrings to release. A full body stretch might feel good. Okay, to close off our time together, feel free to roll yourself on up. Add in the stretches that you need. Let's take one final breath. Thanks for showing up for yourself today. Exhale, have an amazing rest of your day. Woohoo! See you next time, friends.